Hey guys, and welcome to yet again another Expanse-themed video. This time I'm covering the battle we saw in Season 6, Episode 5, which came out less than 24 hours ago of me recording this. First, I just want to say that the Expanse team has been doing very well this season with the combat. Every episode, it seems, has had some sort of space combat, and it's all been executed very well, and I am all for it. Hopefully, we get something very satisfying for the show finale next week. Anyways, let's just get right into the video. The battle begins with a shot of eight Martian torpedoes slowly approaching the soul ring while on the float. Upon getting close enough to the ring, all of the drives on the torpedo begin to switch on and accelerate towards the two Free Navy sentries that are guarding the ring gate. At first glance, it's interesting how the Free Navy didn't have more ships guarding the ring, however, it starts to make sense in a few moments. The initial torpedoes split into two groups of four, and each group attacks a sentry each. Looking at these sentries closely, we can see that there are at least two PDCs on each sentry, that were facing the incoming torpedoes. They also have orange support frames that also appear on some of the Free Navy ships. The sentries get taken out with relative ease and the Martian ships pass by the debris on their approach into the ring space. In this battle, I was able to count six Martian ships, three Sirocco class assault cruisers, two Orion class heavy frigates, and one Morgan class patrol destroyer. The reason behind having so many Sirocco class ships could be because of their ability to dispatch skiffs with Martian personnel on board them. This would become useful for boarding actions later on if their mission had gone according to plan. I'd also like to mention that if you freeze the video at this exact frame, you can see an all black variant of the heavy frigate. No doubt this is a stealth variant of the ship class, which I mentioned was a possibility in my heavy frigate breakdown video. All six ships approach Medina Station in an interesting turn as they are decelerating from their sideways approach to the ring gate and directly accelerating towards Medina Station. We now see the interior of what appears to be one of the Sirocco class ships. This scene did strike me as odd however because the interior looks nothing like the previous CIC we saw in the MCR in Hammurabi which was a ship of the same class. Eventually I reached the conclusion that they are not in the CIC but rather in the control room of one of the skiffs that were attached to the assault cruiser. This would explain why the Admiral is in Martian marine gear for this scene, but not this scene, and it would also fit with my assumption that they were planning on launching a large number of these skiffs to board Medina Station. Next, we find out that the person leading the mission is none other than Admiral Sandrine Carino, who we met in Season 3 and earlier in this season. She first orders Medina Station to surrender on a wide beam transmission, but after this fails, she orders her fellow crewmen to load all tubes with plasma torpedoes. These torpedoes are specialized in order to melt hull plating on impact and are generally used to disarm and disable enemy vessels rather than destroy them. This shows that the MCRN were intending to take control of Medina just like Ceres Station. We then get an incoming transmission regarding six plasma flashes that came off of the ring station. Before the Admiral was able to comprehend what was happening, the large railguns that were placed on the ring station took out every Martian ship in the engagement. This was a swift battle that was easily a victory for the Free Navy. From this battle, we find out that the Free Navy had placed six large-scale railguns around the ring station. As mentioned later in this episode, the surface of the ring station is impenetrable. That's why the Free Navy instead constructed a frame that holds the entire railgun assembly together and essentially wrapped it around the ring station. These railguns are quite large. We are able to determine this from the fact that the diameter of the ring station is approximately 5 kilometers. That means these railguns are most definitely able to rival the orbital railgun platforms that the UN has and can most definitely go against Martian railguns found on the Sirocco and Doniger class ships. I'd also like to mention the fact that Medina Station never received their own railguns. There was a line in Season 3 that mentioned the fact that the railguns were going to be installed on the Behemoth. However, this most likely never happened as the OPA entered a treaty with the Inners that probably restricted them from attaching heavy weaponry on the Behemoth as it was going to act as the central hub of the ring space. Now this battle was quite short, but it was still able to effectively show the Free Navy's newfound power and that the MCRN or the UNN couldn't just overpower their weapons anymore. 
Thank you for watching my breakdown on the MCRN versus Free Navy battle we saw in The Expanse. Please click the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos on The Expanse or other sci-fi TV shows and movies. Feel free to check out my other videos on The Expanse as well.